I just got home from Levi Stadium where I watched the 49ers blow out the New York Giants 30-12 to on Thursday Night Football, and here is my instant reaction to the game. So, first, I'm going to start off with the defense. Defense played phenomenal. Reason why they won this game. Amazing. Um, because in the first half, the Niners were starting off really, really slow. So, the fact that the defense was just, you know, able to hold the Giants, uh, uh, handled, their, uh, handled their own job, that was great. Good job on the defense. Defensive line was good. Bosa finally made some noise and looks like he's getting back into the rhythm. Uh, Javon Hargrave uh, did pretty well. Jamal De Lenore had a pa had a uh, pass interference penalty. Just got to clean up on that. Um, now let's move on to the offense. Uh, Trent Williams, he had three penalties a day. He's got to clean that up. And personally, me, I mean, Brock Purdy, he had good numbers, but I didn't really see anything too special from him. He had an okay day because he did, he like in the first half, we can all agree, like, he didn't really do that well. Besides besides three good passes that I saw from him, one was to Kittle early on in the game, and then the touchdown to Ronnie Bell, and then the touchdown to Debo Samuel, he really didn't have, you know, he wasn't really accurate. He was inaccurate down the field, too. Um, So that's fine because the Niners faced a trash team. They faced the Giants, and all Purdy needed to do this game was Dink Induck. The Niners did not need Brandon Ayuk for this game, so it is good that they let him rest because we don't want Ayuk to get re-injured and then have and then not have him play or not be able to have him play against a hard team later on in the season. So that's good that Ayuk was resting because the Niners truly did not need him for this game. Where Purdy all really all he needed to do was Dink and Dunk. He had an okay game, but he did, but he didn't play horrible. He did not play horrible. He had an okay game, which is which really this is good because it shows that the Niners don't really need to play their best football to be to to blow out horrible teams. So that so that's good. That's a statement. They don't they don't need to try against these horrible teams, and they can still win. So that's a good statement from the 49ers. But when they do face a good team, Week Five against the Cowboys, they're gonna have to play play their game. Luckily, they'll get another rest week next week against the Cardinals, where it'll probably be another blowout. I'm expecting 37 points from the 49ers. They covered the spread this game of 10.5 points, which is good. Uh, last game, a lot of bidders were mad because they ran straight that field goal at the end. But all around, good game for the 49ers. It's obviously a good game when you blow the team out. Offense did not look good in the first half, uh, struggled a little bit. But all in all, they played an okay game, which is really all you need to beat the New York Giants.